I make, I'm a singer songwriter, I guess I sing and I make uh, music, yeah, I make songs. Oh, I used to be like the annoying child that was singing all the time. And then actually ever since that, like 11, 12 year old, I started like making my own songs. I mean, back then they were like kind of like shit. It was like just very simple and they didn't really go about anything because like you're 12, like what are you gonna sing about? You know, so it was more like random, but um, and yeah, it's something that like it never just happened. It was just always there. Yeah, well, definitely the first concert I ever did was like very important to me. It, it was also not that long ago. It was only like two years ago, I think. Um, and it was just like in Bronx. It was like an open mic kind of thing. And it was just like, I was just on stage for like 10 minutes. But then I also had like all my friends who were there because like they came to support me because it was my first concert. And I remember feeling so many emotions at once before I had to go on and that's like something that that's when I realized oh, okay I like I mean I really get I really get it or something like and I would never forget that moment I guess guilty pleasure no it's not like I think it's so weird that people would even like describe a song as a guilty pleasure. Like if you like it, you like it, it's good music. That's like, maybe to me it's also different because I just listen to a lot of different genres. Like I listen to jazz and classical and pop and rap and like R&B. So I don't think any genre would be like a guilty one for me. <laughs> I don't know, it's just I get, I'm like very much of a perfectionist. So every time I finish, like, or kind of finish a demo and I really like it, after a couple of weeks, I start noticing the things that I don't really like about it and start changing. That's something I'm working on also to be like less insecure and like less uncertain about my music. So like, it's difficult to now say a song that I'm really proud about, but maybe come and love it has already released on my EP also because that's just a song that I literally made uh, in my bedroom when I was like 17 with one of my friends and it was so like, it was so like organic and it was so like easy and like now when I make music I'm like well fuck it was easier back then or something because you're not thinking about where's, where's it gonna go. I hope people who listen to my first project they will kind of like evolve with me into my next project because it's going to be totally different. I feel like a lot of people are right now putting me in this like lo-fi, sensual, blah blah and that's always going to be in it but I mean new things are coming and it's going to be different and I hope that people will still stick to like me. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> it's so nice, damn. L'amour, 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 l'amour.